welcome to another series I'm gonna be doing on the channel. So I'm gonna be uh, trying to do like, like one episode every two days. If not, then I'm sorry. But I'll try to upload as many uh, 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 episodes as I can. So th in this tutorial, in this series, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a full intro from scratch. Like, uh, it's not made to like make you copy guys and show you h exactly how I do my stuff. It's just how to show you how I flow like this, uh, how I do my stuff. Okay, so first of all, I always drag my song in. Uh, then I add a new composition named Main. I always name this. I always make this 20 seconds, like not always, but most of the times. Then I pl press L two times to bring up the waveform. Waveform. Then you want to find the beat drop. It's probably yeah, that's so easy to find because you can actually see when the audio it goes up. Then you would you want to mark the beats by pressing the asterisk symbol on your uh, numpad. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna end this here. The intro. Uh, I'm gonna make it start at like start here at eight seconds um and it adds a uh, uh, eleven fifteen. I don't know if that's. But then, if I wanted to do do like here, it would be like <laughs> six seconds, seven almost. I'm just gonna add this here because it's not enough to show you like enough effects. Okay, this is your uh, the sync for the song, so it ends at 15, almost. I'm gonna make it... Yeah, that's pretty much even, I'd say. Then just cut everything that's left. Then you wanna press L once. Uh, then go to the part where your intro starts and press the stopwatch, go to the start and make it like 75. And go to where it ends, add a keyframe by pressing the diamond thing, then put it at 75 at the end again. Then you want to add an effect called bass and treble to it. It's free by After Effects, so you have you don't have to do anything about that. So you want to go where your intro starts, click the stopwatch, go to the start, put it to minus 100, then press U. Uh, click the diamond, go one frame forward or however many you want and just put it to 100 again. So this is your song. Actually, uh, you want to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D three times. Mm. 
kind of don't like this part, so I'm gonna ease it so that it just fades out faster. <sighs> and now I'm gonna do the same thing for this part. I'm just I'm just not gonna ease it though. Okay, that's pretty good. So this is the song. So in this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you how to make the song, the text and the background. So for the text, what I always do is I count how many seconds the intro is going to be. So it starts at 7 and ends at 14. So that's going to be 7 seconds, but I'm going to make it 7, 7, 40 because I need space for my transition. The out transition and the in transition. So I'm going to name this text. Even though I already have a text tutorial on my channel, it's okay. Uh, what should this be? Hmm. I'm gonna make an intro for this guy who made my banner and it's amazing. You should definitely check him out. Light Designs. Wait, let me check if that's his right name. Give me a sec. Oh my fucking god. Actually, no, I'm just gonna make this tutorial. <clears throat> okay, now you wanna go to the layer styles uh, by right clicking and going to layer styles, add, a, add an inner shadow and just copy my settings for this gradient overlay so this guy has a uh, I'm gonna be making it blue <sighs> okay then you wanna pre-compose this name it text pre-comp1 or whatever you want to add an echo space to this if you don't have the echo space plugin you can just duplicate this put it under the thing and just put the scale at 19.5 and the position uh, like press the down arrow key once every single time but that would take too much time so yeah you should probably get echo space if you don't already have it so basically you wanna put the instances at 15 Z offset to 0 scale to minus 0 0.5 and put the Y offset at like 0 0.6 or maybe like 1 or maybe a bit more like 1.5 and just click repeat Thanks for the support later, by the way. I've gotten like 100 subs in less than a month. I could put this at like 3, but I don't... Lately I've been more of the, the like... Not that much extruded text. 
Oh my fucking god. People keep messaging me. So basically you wanna click to the uh, the second layer, add an adjustment layer, then add hue saturation to it and put the lightness to minus forty. Then you want to press Ctrl A, select everything, pre compose, text, pre comp two, warp, add a warp to it, make this shell lower this to zero make the vertical distortion to like 15 or however much you'd like you could put this at 20 too uh, I, I don't know you either want if you want it like low you can put this at like 10 or even 8 but lately I've been liking the high ones so I'm gonna put this at 15 then you wanna click uh, right click again at a, at a Layer style, stroke, then put the color to white and just put the size to 8. Yeah, this is your text. So now I'm going to show you how to make the background. Uh, by the way, you should always stay like clean by making folders and stuff. So yeah. Uh, now, I'm just gonna make another uh, composition, name it background, and just start from like what's gonna be a, uh, like the lower. Uh, you'll see what I mean. So, first, uh, actually, I wanna do something for this. So, I'm gonna make a new colors. Let me open this. Then I'm just gonna get the color code from my text so that I can use the uh, same accent the whole time. If it doesn't crash, there we go. Okay, here's the code. Okay, now let me make a solid. Let me paste the code in. Make it kind of dark. Then make another solid. And make it like darker. Then you want to add S wipe tiles to the darker one. Put this to 90. And then this to 12. Then you want to press uh, the stop watch and the shift thing then you wanna just uh, go to the end and put, put the position to oh I, uh, I did the wrong so I want you to go from here to there like this should go like that uh, uh, I'm just gonna put like and here I'm gonna do that so basically it goes diagonally now what did I just do the wrong thing again oh my god actually no that's what I wanted. Yeah. So basically, you have this for now. Okay. Once you have that, uh, you want to make a new. So in the uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing like a background that I've never seen somebody make in a tutorial, and that I figured out myself, because. Uh, there are so many tutorials showing the same background over and over again and I am sick of that so I'm gonna make like something else this time so I'm gonna add a poly star make the star polygon then I'm gonna make the outer radius to zero then any, uh, click the stopwatch go 90 frames forward And put this to 1640. Then 
if you want to add a stroke, put the stroke to 200, go to the stroke path, add a keyframe at the end, like, uh, and put the, uh, put it at 100 at the start. So, you have this for now, but that's gonna change. Add to drop shadow to that. Then you wanna duplicate it, and... Actually, uh, let me find my code. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go here and make it white, like keep it white, and add an effect called Venetian Blinds. Put this to 25, and the width to like 60. And then put this to 90. Then you want to offset it by f uh, 40 frames by pressing Alt, Shift, and Page Down four times. Now you want to pre-compose these two, and name them BG Sh- oh my god. BG shapes. Okay. Now, uh, you wanna go here. Uh, go to. Oh, I forgot to do something. Go to the position of these by pressing P. Put this at 480. This one too. Put this to zero. Actually, 1080. Go to the background. And now you want to zoom in and just create a mask for the for uh for one half of the screen screen so basically you can only see this part I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger okay so once you've done that you want to duplicate this. And by pressing Control D, um, yeah, and then you wanna just uh, press R to bring up the rotation and put this to 180. Then you wanna duplicate this again, call it PSG shapes again or whatever you want to. Then uh, you wanna add an echo to this. Oh, this should be a bit longer. And let me. Okay, so this is. A, I gotta. Uh, I for, uh, forgot. You have to. Oh, whoops. Wrong composition. Just do that. And then just go to the end and make sure that you have as least echoes as possible for the best render times. Okay. So this is your background. Oh no, I forgot to add one thing. So you basically want to add a line in the middle uh, by doing that and pre by pre oh, whoops. Make sure you have no layer selected while doing that. Then just align it to the center. Make the stroke. Uh, can I add a... I don't know if this would look good, but I'll try it. Hell nah. 
I'm just gonna keep it, keep that. Then add a drop shadow. Name this shapes. Okay. Uh, once you've done that, you wanna add a new uh, layer, a new solid. Uh, personally, I like to make particle solids green, so I put the green to 255. Name this particles, and just add particle particular to it. If you don't have this, then you can just skip this part. Let me actually save this so that I don't lose anything. Tutorial project. Okay. And now open the designer. Go to the meter type. Put this at 30 or even 40 if you want to. Put the position to 1, 180. Go here. Put the velocity to 1000. Go to the particle type. Put the particle further to zero and make the lives uh, in seconds as long as your composition is. I'm gonna put the size and rotation to like 75. And put the color random from gradient. And then just pick a color. Uh, since I can't add hex codes in this, I'm gonna have to make it manually. Yeah. So these are your particles. Then you want to add a drop shadow to these. Yeah. Then you want to duplicate them. Press R and but to bring up the rotation and rotate them 180 degrees. Uh if the, if those are a bit too much for you, you can just lower them down. By press by doing here that uh, they are too much actually. Yeah, then you wanna select these two, pre-compose them, name it particles. <coughs> then you wanna go to the start and press Control Alt D at uh, T I mean, and put this at three seconds so that you start with particles and you wanna <coughs> did my <coughs> I'm sorry about that you wanna do the same for the shapes and put the thing at 130 so yeah then you wanna add a last uh, shape layer then add a uh, ellipse, ellipse till for that. Uh, double click that. Put the size to zero. Go to the start. Make the size zero. Go nine frames forward. And put this at 2000. Or even more than that. <laughs> or even more than that. Or even more than okay we're good and uh, then you want to go to the stroke make sure it's at 200 at the end oh then you would have to do that uh, and go to the start and put it at 100 So then you want to duplicate this and offset by 40 frames. Make this white. Let me get the drop shadow from these. Add a drop shadow to these. Then uh, you want to add the effect Venetian blinds again. Make sure the drop shadow is under everything. Put the width to 60, direction 90, and transition completion at 25, so that you have this background. 
I'm actually gonna make the thing a bit more yeah then you wanna just pre-compose them make sure this is not on and name this shapes to then you wanna add an echo It's a bit too much. <coughs> no, it was okay. Just go to the end and make sure you still have that. I'll, oh, I got it perfectly actually. Okay. Then of course, as always, you know you want to pre-compose it again. Maybe it shapes too again because I'm kind of dumb. And make sure you have this one clicked. Press Control Alt T. Look at this at one thirty. So I'm gonna actually do some splines for this, even though I don't really add splines to my intros. So basically just get the pen tool and make a weird line. Okay, then you want to add a trim path to this. Oh, uh, you want to press the start stopwatch, then go 50 frames forward. Press the end stopwatch, go to the end, put the end at 100. Go 50 frames back and put the start at 100. So you have this spline. If the spline is too big for you, you can just make the offset less. Yeah, that's good. Now let me add a drop shadow to this. Um, yeah, th then you want to duplicate it and put it at 180 degrees then you wanna uh, duplicate it again offset it by three frames make the stroke uh, half of the thing you have now and make the color this I'm actually gonna offset it by 10 frames because my spline is big then you wanna copy that and just rotate it 180 degrees <coughs> so this is your background so you have all these now you have the text you have the background and you have the song so I'll see you in the next tutorial see you guys hope this helped